Welcome back to OnTheMoneyOptions.com Christmas Gift 2016. Today we look at my rule number four, but before that let's review the rules so far. Rule one, stop looking at the major indexes. They don't give you the information you need to accurately invest. Rule two, money is constantly in motion. Geopolitical and economic forces keep money moving across the sectors. Rule 3. Take new long positions in sectors that are outperforming both on an absolute and relative basis to the benchmark index. Let's look at the sector relative strength chart. The first bar is the S&P 500 index and it is set to zero. All of the nine major sectors are compared relative to the performance of this benchmark index. If the sector is above zero, it is outperforming the benchmark. In this case, you see the black bar for the energy sector is the highest performing sector over the past 22 trading days, which is a full trading month. Look at the chart of the sector. We will use the XLE, the Energy Sector Exchange Traded Fund. You will notice that it has been going up rapidly since early 2016, faster than the S&P 500 has risen. That is why it is outperforming the benchmark. To put it another way, money has been moving to the energy sector more rapidly than other sectors. Following the money is the best way to find what is moving in the markets. So this takes us to rule number four. Take a long position in stocks that are outperforming their sector, which is outperforming the benchmark on a relative basis. Let's look at an example of an energy company that is rising more rapidly than the sector. This is a relative strength comparison of Transocean, symbol RIG, R-I-G. RIG is an oil services company that provides offshore contract drilling for oil and gas wells worldwide. While the S&P 500 has risen 3.7%, the energy sector has risen 7.64%, and Transocean has risen 35%. This meets our criteria of a stock that is outperforming the sector, which is outperforming the benchmark. Looking at a price chart rig, you'll notice immediately that it's well off its historic highs. In 2008, it reached $129 per share, and over the next seven years, dropped to as low as $7.66 a share. Since the low, it has doubled that price and is now trading above $15. Looking at the volume on the lower panel shows the stock lit up with volume. Green bars represent weekly volume where the price has moved up. You can see the tallest volume bars recently have been green up volume bars. This stock is clearly not at historic highs like the S&P 500. This stock has already been through a correction, which is greater, down greater than 10%, a recession, which is greater than down 20%, and even a depression, which is down greater than 50%. So this stock may represent an opportunity. So use this analysis to find stocks that have already cycled down and are getting ready to start cycling back up. This is one of the secrets the big institutional traders use. When stocks get too high, they rotate money to sectors that are starting on a new up cycle. Tomorrow we'll talk about the next rule. Until then, this is Doc saying stay hedged.